Hey guys, Dale Bateman here. On this episode of Build Your Success Online, we're going to talk about developing an online coaching marketing mindset. Stay tuned. So you're probably wondering what it is I mean by an online coaching marketing mindset. Well guys, let me put it into plain English for you. Basically, when you start an online business, you have a certain idea in mind as to what you want to go do, what direction you want to go with it. In my case, I like <clears throat> to think that I am developing myself and my brand as online coach telling people the experiences I've had learning different things doing them putting them into practice and then teaching people that don't know those things yet exactly what I did to get those things in place that's what I call my learn do teach mentality and you can do it too so today with this video what I want to do is go over a few aspects of what I call the online coaching marketing mindset. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, quite often what I do is I mention something called mindset. Now your mindset is something that's very, very important. If you don't have the proper mindset going into your online business, it's very difficult for you to proceed and to become successful. You have to fill your mind with positive thoughts. You have to constantly be thinking, how can I make things better? How can I make things easier for myself? What can I do to make things better and easier for the people that I'm trying to help online? Those are the types of things that will help you to develop a positive coaching mindset. And if you're like me and you want to start helping people the same way that I am, this is a perfect way for you to go about doing it. <clears throat> so I have prepared a little presentation for you to go over some of these main points and I'll describe them as we go so that you can hopefully start to understand better the mindset that you need to get into and some of the things you need to start prioritizing in terms of making yourself a coach that people want to learn from. There are many coaches out there some are good, some are not so good. The good ones make people want to follow them. They make people want to learn from them. They create an environment where it's a learning environment, where they teach what they practice and they help people succeed in the same way that they have. That is good coaching. So let's go through this presentation and at the end I'll gladly take your questions in the comments section either on YouTube or on my blog at buildyoursuccessonline.com. So let's take a look now and then we'll finish the video up after the presentation. Here we go. Alright guys, so here's that presentation that I mentioned to you that I've set up to help explain what I mean by an online coaching marketing mindset. Alright, so First up, most online coaches get involved in coaching for one extremely compelling and valuable purpose, which is because they want to make a positive impact to the lives of others. You may be an incredibly skillful coach, but unless you have people willing to use your services, your skills are of little to no value. So what mindset does it take to be a successful online coach? That's what we're going to explore in this, uh, in this presentation. So a successful online coaching mindset puts the needs of prospects and clients first. Okay, so you should always be giving, 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 giving information, giving free, uh, free reports, free ebooks, free videos, whatever it is, put the needs of your prospects and clients first. These are the people who are going to make up your team eventually. All right? So always remember that. And a successful online coaching mindset 
actively seeks to assist clients attain their objectives. So people will come to you with problems, questions, concerns, and it's up to you to assist them to attain those objectives that they want. Maybe it's starting a business just like yours, to become a coach. Maybe it's to uh, get involved in a network marketing uh, scenario. Whatever the case might be, you have to actively seek to assist those people. Next up, a successful online coaching mindset is empathetic to the needs of clients and prospects. So you have to put yourself in their position. You have to think, okay, I'm, if I was in that position, how would I be feeling? And, you know, you could possibly feel their frustrations if they have questions or problems that they can't solve themselves. So be empathetic to that and make sure that you go that extra mile, over deliver and give them the answers that they're looking for. Help them out. A successful online coaching mindset doesn't limit the service offered to clients and it acts as an ethical advisor. <clears throat> so don't limit yourself in terms of what you're willing to do for people, okay? And what I mean by that is it doesn't really matter what sort of problem someone's having, what sort of question they want answered. You should go out of your way to find the answer to that question. Find the solution to that problem. But do it in an ethical manner. And by that, I mean, you know, if somebody comes to you, let's say you're in a network marketing uh, business, okay? And the idea of that, obviously, is to build your network. You want to get more people on your team. So somebody would come to you and say, okay, I want you to help me out by giving me some of the people on your downline, okay? Put them under me so I can get started and I can make, uh, I can take it from there. Well, that's not an ethical thing to do. First of all, it, it's not proper. And secondly, uh, what you're doing is you're, uh, you're simply giving them the things that they should be learning themselves how to do. And that's really an important part of being an effective coach. It's one thing to try to teach and train people to do what, you, uh, what, you, uh, what they need to do to be successful, but you can't do all the work for them you have to cut it off at a certain point and let them do things on their own otherwise they'll never learn and there's an old saying I think it, it comes from the Bible actually that says I can give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day but if I teach a man to fish he can feed himself for the rest of his life okay so doing a certain amount is great and you should over deliver on that do more than people would expect you to do in other words but don't go all out and do everything for them they have to learn on their own otherwise they won't get any farther along in their own business and finally guys it takes a marketing mindset to be a successful online coach so what I want to do now is I want to talk a little bit about, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we regularly hear of coaches that feel as though marketing is perhaps leading or unethical and they feel as though it's too sleazy and don't feel comfortable with it. For those coaches, I want to explain why marketing is both ethically valid and commercially crucial. So first I want to talk about it being ethically valid, the ethical validity of marketing yourself as a coach. There is an enormous and growing volume of people in society, and I'm talking the online world, that would benefit from coaching services such as you can provide. Let's call these people prospective coaching clients or prospects. These prospects have specific goals they'd like to achieve or challenges they'd like to overcome with a view to leading a better and more fulfilling life. So that's where the coach comes in. <clears throat> As a coach, you have a certain duty of care to assist these people. You can only begin to assist them once they're utilizing your services. And marketing yourself is the link between prospects, between their desires 
and your ability to assist them to fulfill those desires. You see what I mean? So marketing only becomes unethical in the circumstance that you are not able to fulfill your marketing promise to your client. In this instance, you've, you've misled them, either knowingly or unknowingly, and have acted unethically. So really, that's the only thing, um, you know, over and above what I mentioned before about doing too much for them that you can really be called unethical for. So next I want to talk about the fact that being an online coach is commercially crucial. All right, this is an important one. Marketing is commercially crucial because it links prospects that desire a certain outcome with skilled professionals trained to assist them to achieve that outcome. By seeking out information on coaching services, your prospects have already identified for themselves three things. Number one, that there are certain things in their life they'd like to attain or challenges they'd like to overcome. Obviously, okay, they want to start a business. They want to get involved with a network marketing company. Whatever it is, they want to grow their list. They want to sell a product. They want to create a product. Whatever it is. Number two, that a coach is a person with the requisite skills and experience to assist them to achieve that uh, that goal or that challenge. And number three, that they are willing to invest financially in the process. Okay, so you know that's a that's another whole thing there too. You know, for instance, I've got my free online boot camp training course that I'm that I'm. Uh, selling well not selling but that I have available for people to do right now it's 10 steps walks you through all the basic steps necessary to get set up with your online business so um, <clears throat> but there are certain things moving ahead that I would certainly charge a fee for you know I have a high-end coaching program that I work on and if I have people who are interested in that, they will pay for that. And the same goes for you. Don't limit yourself to just providing freebies. Okay, guys? If you want to provide high-end coaching, you should charge for it. And people should be willing to pay for it as well. Okay? Now, remember, the important thing here, the above is an extremely important point and one that all online coaches need to accept. So the fact that having marketing be involved with uh, getting yourself out there is very important. <clears throat> now I want to mention another thing. I have something that I call the service paradigm. It's a thought process that I want you to start thinking about. <clears throat> and by putting yourself in the service paradigm of thought, you'll recognize that to assist clients meet their objectives, you should actively promote your services through compelling advertising that clearly describes what you can offer the, to those clients. Understand that as a coach and a trusted advisor, you're often in a better position of knowledge to ascertain your client's needs to assist them to attain their goals. In other words, you've probably experienced things already that they're going through now and can assist them to get a better idea of what they need to do to attain their goals. Again, you need to be empathetic to the needs of your clients. You have to value your client's intellect and decision-making ability. You need to uh, not preempt your clients' wants and limit the range and scope of products and services you offer them. You should make it all available to them and let them know what you have to offer up front and always act as an ethical advisor to them. Once you embrace the service paradigm to marketing, you'll realize that marketing provides you with a much greater opportunity to fulfill your primary objectives, which is to, to assist your clients and to build a successful coaching business. Build a long-term relationship with those clients. These objectives become complementary and you create a truly win-win situation between the desires of your clients and your own desires. Now I want to talk about developing your service paradigm marketing mindset. Okay? And there are seven steps, seven things that I want you to remember 
as you do this. Okay, so what you're doing here is you're developing your service paradigm, how you're going to provide your services to your customers, to your teammates, to your 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 people in your downline if you're in network marketing, whatever it is, people on your email list who want your information, how you're going to set it up and provide this service paradigm marketing mindset. Okay, so let's take a look at these seven things. First, be determined to succeed. You need to be absolutely determined that you're going to succeed. If you just want to succeed, but you're not willing to do go that extra mile, you'll get swept aside by those who are more determined than you. Number two, persevere. Coaches with a marketing mindset embrace challenges as part of life and part of business. If you pers perceive challenges as impassable barriers, you'll never develop a marketing mindset. It's crucial you accept you're going to confront hurdles as part of the business. Persevere over them. Number three, remaining positive. This is a whole thing about the positive mindset that we talked about in the beginning of the presentation. Literally, nothing destroys a marketing mindset more than a negative attitude. A mindset is a can-do attitude. That's what you need to have, is a can-do positive attitude. Number four, set goals. As a marketing online coach, this is something you should know a lot about. Set yourself specific, achievable goals for yourself and for your customers. Number five, plan a strategy. Establish a specific plan of action to attain those goals. Identify what resources you'll need and the possible challenges you may confront. That's important too. Take a look at what may come up that may present itself as a problem or a challenge for you to overcome. Number six, implement your plan. This is the most difficult part. Implementation of your plan. Modify it where you need to, change your goals as others are attained, and modify your plan if flaws are happening or if problems persist. But always continue to implement it. Non-action is the precursor of business failure. Remember that, I wanna repeat that. Non-action is the precursor of business failure. And number seven, keep marketing. Your success or failure hinges on your marketing. Always maintain your marketing mindset. Always be focused on marketing. It's a common trap to get caught up in the day-to-day -day operation of your business and put marketing aside. Now this is a recipe for disaster, guys. How effectively you market will be most influential the determinant on your success or otherwise of your business. Marketing isn't difficult, remember that. Marketing is not difficult or confusing, but it does require significant ongoing diligence and attention. The moment you lose focus on marketing your business is the moment your business performance will suffer. And that's no other place that it's more evident than online marketing, okay? So guys, what's the bottom line today? There are literally millions of people who start up an online business almost every day, all over the world. Each of these people has at least some sort of idea of what they want to do with that online business. In order to fully develop those initial thoughts, dreams, and desires into a fully functional online business, coaches are needed to guide those individuals. That's where we come in. That's where people like me come in and you come in if you choose to do this as well. I hope that this article has helped to shed some light on the way to approach online business coaching both from the business owners as well as the coaches point of view. If you're a person who wants to build an online business from the ground up and make a successful living for yourself doing something that you enjoy while helping others do the same, it's time that you enrolled in my free bootcamp training course. And you can get that at buildyoursuccessonline.com Okay, and guys, again, we've been talking about developing an online coaching marketing mindset. It's so important that you learn, do, and teach as a coach. All right, guys, that's it for this presentation. Let's get out of this, finish up the present 
finish up the video, I should say, so you guys can start implementing this right away into your online business and getting your own success. There you go, guys. Some helpful points on how to set yourself up with an online coaching marketing mindset. These things will hopefully help you to build your own business online in terms of a niche where you help people succeed with their own online businesses. Now don't forget my main points. You need to learn things, <clears throat> you need to do them or put them into practice in your own business and then teach them to other people. That's the learn, do, teach mentality. If you do that day in and day out, you have no other recourse except to succeed. All you have to do from that point is find people that are looking for your help and help them out. You can do that in several ways by developing your own email list, by sending out uh, some, maybe doing some ads, some solo ads, perhaps some uh, online uh, network, uh, network platform uh, advertising in that way, some social networking, whatever it is, maybe do some forum advertising. Check out where people are hanging out that you want to get in touch with, people who are having problems, who have questions that you can answer with your own experiences. So guys, I hope you found some value in this information. If you have, and you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this on my blog at buildyoursuccessonline.com, I would encourage you to sign up and roll in my free boot camp training course. 10 days to get you set up with your own online business. You'll follow the exact steps that I did when I got started, and it'll take you to success. I practically guarantee it. All you have to do is follow the steps, and I'll, sh I'll guide you through every stage and be there to help you along the way. That's the important thing, and that's what being a good coach, as you know now, is all about. So guys, with that being said, again, I want to thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Dale Bateman, and I'm wishing you a fantastic day. Bye for now.